Hey, what's up, my old friend? Welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, James. Today, we are going to introduce a new feature of Korea AI that is Korea Chat. Alright, what's up, my old friend? Welcome back to my channel again. Now I'm bringing you with the latest version of the Korea. Now Korea just update the chat functionality. This is crazy. And in the homepage, we can already see the new stuff here. So where we can type or upload the attached, and we can generate an image, a video, 3D shape by that. This is crazy. Also on the top, we can find the entry point for the chat. Let's click. It. Well, this style is more like a chat GPT. And Korea Chat is about to bring all the functionalities of the Korea into a robot so that you can chat, you can talk with this AI. In fact, the AI behind the, the Korea Chat is DeepSeek. This AI model is on fire recently. I believe you already heard one or two things about the DeepSeek. And I already used DeepSeek for a long time. I want to mention that I really love the price of the DeepSeek API. It's really cheap. And I already developed an app and already developed a game based on DeepSeek's API. And uh, I'm really happy that the Korea team can do that as well. And uh, let's try to type. No matter if you're an English speaker or you speak Korean, Japanese, Chinese, no matter what languages are you using, you can all use this Korea chat. It supports multiple languages. And uh, let's try. Click this button. Now we have three images are generating. Because I'm a smart guy, I can guess it's use flux. But if we forget about the technology behind this, this is really smooth because now you just uh, type what you want and uh, you get the result. Is that cute, right? Let's try another. Let's send. Okay, the video is here and let's check out the details. Oh, very cool. Wow, so cool and very natural, right? And we can even do more. Remember Mid Journey? I believe many of you already use Mid Journeys. So it's really convenient that we have a button below the videos and also the images. So we can change a style. We can use the cinematic style. So let's try this. So we are making this into a movie shot. This style is more like a movie. Check out the lightning and also the color of this image is terrific. We also can make these variations into video by clicking this button. And also we can remove the style or change a style, whatever you want to do, you can do it. This already gave us a lot of freedom to create new stuff, right? Oh man, we can also check in the full screen, make a video, upscale it, or just publish in gallery. And also you can copy the prompt and style. I love this too already. And also we can upload the reference image. And also we can create a new chat by clicking the plus button. And um, the each dialogue will be saved. And now let's create a 3D style image. And click this button. Wow, is that cute, right? But the style, I don't like it. So let's change the style. Can we make it into video? Let's click the generate on the new pop-up window. And we even have a button called Van Gogh. So we can change the style with Van Gogh style. That is so cute. I love this one. And also we have a 3D shapes button. This is very helpful if we have a design and we lack of the background image. Okay, so basically Korea Chat opens a window for us to generate stuff faster. And we can use our natural languages to talk AI directly. I think this is a very cool. I highly suggest you to try it by yourself. Don't hesitate if you have any questions or suggestions. Leave it in the comment zone. I will reply them one by another. Okay, that's all for the Korea Chat. I will see you on the next episode. Bye bye. Congratulations on watching till the end. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. You won't miss out on more great contents. I will see you on the next episode. Bye bye.